recent weeks, we have witnessed an escalation of attacks on Kenya's judiciary through utterances by various leaders, including the President of the Republic of Kenya, His Excellency Dr. William Ruto. These concerning utterances erode judicial integrity and independence and paint as evil those who legally use courts to challenge government excesses. The East Africa Law Society is deeply concerned about these persistent attacks, which also violate the principle of separation of powers and judicial independence as enshrined in the Kenya's constitution, as well as in various international instruments, including the United Nations Basic Principles on the Independence of the Judiciary, the Bangalore Principles of Judicial Conduct, the, Uni the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, the African Charter and the Commonwealth Principles of the, of the Three Arms of Government. We join the Law Society of Kenya, the Judicial Service Commission and the Kenyan people in condemning the attacks and urge government officials to refrain from antagonizing the operations of the judiciary with the cornerstone, which is the cornerstone of any just society. This is an important country, not just in the region, not just in the African region, but the world. And therefore, if Kenya gets it wrong and we allow a situation where judges will be intimidated into issuing orders that just favor uh, the executive, then we have lost it. Of course, the example here, and I don't know why uh, anybody will feel so, so bad about it, wanting to force judges to issue favorable ruling with regard to the punitive taxes, and more particularly, the housing tax. Let them be bold enough and accept this cannot just be accepted. Therefore, Chief Justice, Mother Kome and your team, we want to say as law society, that we stand in solidarity. We are not even here to ask you to issue any favorable orders, but just as the president has said, to do the right thing.